Now, let us uh, learn how to measure the frequency using Lesage's figures. Lesage's figures are two mutually perpendicular uh, simple harmonic oscillations superposed with each other. Here we have two channels, channel 1, channel 2. Channel 2 has been uh, aligned with horizontal axis. Channel 1 is aligned with vertical axis. And we will give two inputs to both channel 1 and channel 2 and get the superposition of them uh, on the screen. That will give you uh, the Lissajous figures. For that, you have to select the XY mode in the CR4. For that, X, you have to search where XY has been written. One XY has been written here. That has been pressed inside, no problem. And there is another XY here that is, should, that should also be pressed inside. Lock in. Beginning, you will get a single dot. Just a single dot. Don't worry about it. Now, let's give input to both channel 1 and channel 2. Let's say, I'm giving this input to the channel 2, which is along vertical. That's why you got a vertical line. Instead, if you give the same input to horizontal, you will get a horizontal line. See that? You will get a horizontal line. And usually, keep the voltages at the same values. Which one? Any value of your choice. If on, now I have kept it at 0 0.2 volt per division, 0 0.2 volt per division in both. Okay. Okay. Now let's give me this. Let's give us this input in the channel one, and then I'll take another input. I'll give it to channel two, and you got it. Let's charge this figure. Even though we have kept the same volts per division here, we are not getting like a square here. We w that's because the voltage input voltages set in the two function function generators are different. If you adjust the in you can make it to get like a square by adjusting the input voltages in the function generators, or by adjusting the volts per division. You can do however you want. That is absolutely fine. Okay, let's increase. I am adjusting it using. Yes, now you can see a big. It looks like a square. It isn't a square. Two sinus. It's a superposition of two sinusoidal figures. Sinusoidal waves. Now, keep one of the uh, input fixed. Say I fi I'll keep. Channel 1 y axis fixed, and I'll vary channel 2 so that you get a li clear Lissajous figure where you can count the horizontal and vertical tangencies. Let's adjust this and let me decrease the frequency and slowly adjust it. You will see beautiful pictures. Say yes, I'm increasing slowly. Uh, see, uh, this is uh, this one is beautiful. Uh, let's not go for it. Let's increase it further. And when do you actually see this uh, Lissajous figure that we are looking for? By the time you get, or uh, when the frequency becomes nearer to the desired frequency. You, you will see some kind of a very big fluctuations like this, like this. Now, just uh, see here. You will get something like that. And if you get something like this, adjust in the vicinity, you will be able to get a Lissajous figure, which is like this. This is in the form of an infinity. If the frequency changes, the pattern will go off. Okay. Here, it is in the form of a infinity. It's in the form of a infinity. We have to determine horizontal and vertical tangencies. How do we determine horizontal and what do you mean by horizontal and vertical tangencies? If we draw straight lines, horizontal straight lines, the maximum number of points where those straight lines become tangents to the given curve are called horizontal tangencies. Here, you can draw two straight lines, one here, one here, and each of them will become tangent to this uh, curve, two points in here and two points here. Hence, the total number of horizontal tangencies are four. And similarly, if you write vertical lines, number of vertical, the number of 
points where the given curve becomes the given vertical line becomes tangent to the vertical uh, given curve sorry given vertical line becomes tangent to the given curve that gives you the vertical tangencies you can draw a vertical straight line here vertical straight line here and you will get two vertical tangencies even if at some point of the curve this looks like a, a parabola at this one at this moment say at that moment horizontal tangency vertical tangency horizontal tan that also can be found but keep it to be in this say like infinity now use by measuring the horizontal tangencies and vertical tangencies and if you know one of the frequencies you can calculate the other frequency in this case horizontal tangencies is 4 vertical tangencies 2 the frequency given to the y axis is equal to horizontal tangency divided by vertical tangency into frequency given to the x axis the frequency I have given is 500 I don't think you will be able to see here in the screen it is 500 hertz so you can see the frequency it is sinusoidal 0.5 kilohertz it is 500 hertz hence horizontal tangencies even a small shake will disturb it horizontal tangency is 4 vertical tangency is 2 4 divided by 2 is 2 2 into 500 hertz will give you 1 kilohertz the frequency set in the other function generator okay you know is see here it is 1k I am unable to bring it because the cable is not that long that is 1k okay now adjust the frequency to get another beautiful Lissajous figure which you would be able to draw on your paper on your uh, book records if you can draw this definitely you can use that ha ah, beautiful you will get a circle or an ellipse when the frequencies become equal because for a circle or an ellipse the horizontal tangency is two vertical tangencies to you have two straight lines or vertical lines there can be two points where uh, for uh, the given curve gets a tangent being a vertical line and the frequencies in both of them are one kilohertz again adjust the frequency get any other desired Lissajous figures using the nature of the Lissajous figure by counting horizontal and vertical tangencies you can determine here there is something ah, beautiful yes this one is beautiful oh, this one. even a small fluctuation in the frequency will disturb the Lissajous figures let's go ahead find some other better one yes here is one see here it's in the shape of eight vertical tangencies come on don't go off yes be there don't worry be there yes vertical tangencies if we draw vertical lines, one, two here, two here, vertical tangency is four and horizontal tangency two. Hence, horizontal tangency is two divided by vertical tangency is four. Two divided by four is one by two. One by two into frequency given to the horizontal axis is two kilohertz. You can see that, two kilohertz. You can see the two kilohertz. Okay. And that will give you one kilohertz. Hence, whatever the Lissajous figure you get, you will be able to compute. If you, what you have to do, you have to find out the number of vertical tangencies and number of horizontal tangencies and determine the Lissajous figure. OK. 
Okay, this is another one. These are a little difficult in the sense. Yes, here. See here. Come on. They are a little delicate, man. A little delicate. Really delicate. Even a small one or two words frequency variation will disturb it. Here, see, it's like triple eight. It's a three circled eight. Eight has a two circle. It has. It's a three circle thing. Hence, how many vertical tangencies? Three here. Three here. Total six. How many horizontal tangency? One here, one here, total two. Horizontal tangency is two, vertical tangency is four. Hence, this way you can determine the frequency of AC signal using Lissajous figures. Okay? Thank you.